Cancer Singles, welcome. This is your singles reading here called Meet the Soulmate. Call it the end of January time frame. Really, it's a timeless read for whenever you see it, if it resonates for you. Cancer sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs here. It's eight cards. And I look at what I call the core values, the emotional energy here with two cards, intellectual energy. It's the sexual love energy here. What I call core values and the lifestyle. These four pillars. And it's an always positive reading because I'm simply asking spirit who is the right one for you. It's a timeless read because whenever you watch it, it's going to tell you who's the right one for you if you are single. So here in I see the moon also. We'll look at the astrology some. And we have a Leo moon person here. Um, very strong uh, moon. I've known people with uh, Leo moons. Um, it's the brightest moon. They're like really positive. The, these are almost more of the Leos sometimes that light up a room than our sun Leos. Um, they'll have an effect usually on people of making them smile, making them feel good, um, just kind of by the way they are. Um, they're very positive, uh, kind of to a fault. You know, I have, uh, Scorpio, Venus, it's very strong. You know, I like to look at the shadow stuff. Um, the one thing about um, a moon in Leo, particularly if it's strongly placed, I think this one is, uh, backed up by the Nine of Cups here. Um, I think they had a father-mother dynamic where the parents were very much in love. Uh, they had like basically a very good childhood. Um, I can't really tell whether they had siblings or not. Um, I get the sense that their parents doted on them or doted on their children, uh, that they're very well taken care of. Um, I don't think they wanted for anything in childhood. Um, so their parents were, you know, I'm not saying rich, but they they were. Um, okay and substantial uh, i think they went on to get some kind of education too a higher education here and they're coming across this queen of swords to go with the leo moon i think you have an aquarius sun here you also have an aquarius venus person so we're going to have a leo moon aquarius sun and aquarius venus so that's a lot of fixed energy here I'll tell you something about your person and this is just your person, so they're the one that's right for you. Either are they all right. So, um, uh, you know, um, they, they aren't going to change. I guess no one really should never count on would change. But they're, they're not. Like, if uh, you don't like the way they are right at the get-go, uh, you don't like them. Because you're not going to get them to change uh, here. Um, but I think with this hermit it, here, it indicates, I think, a Capricorn Mercury that somehow... And I sense this is a Virgo card, some sixth house energy. I don't know whether maybe there's suns in the sixth house, sixth house suns, so the way they want to express themselves. But they're really focused on their body and not like in a bad way or an egotistical way, but they're really focused on health. And really, I think almost from a scientific point of view, and look at this Queen of Swords here too, how many doves there are flying around her, see? So, uh, this is someone that's very intelligent, very decisive, very kind of goal-oriented. They, they'll be in the health field somehow. They, they could definitely be a, a health coach, a life coach. They could also be anything from a... Uh, I wouldn't think so much nurse as a, uh, maybe a physical therapist, a sports trainer, uh, something like that. Um, I think this is someone that really takes care of their body. They may have a very good body, male, female. Um, person and you know they have the venus um in aquarius okay so a little familiar with that my girlfriend now has that uh and but here i think what we have is a mars in a scorpio okay it's a stretch but it can happen that's quite a combination with your person i i they're sexy i will tell you right now this you're gonna know them because they're sexy as fuck Man or woman, there's just going to be something about it that's just sexy. It's the way they are. Um, possibly why they take care of themselves because, 
you know, during adolescence, uh, people focused upon how physically attractive they were. And, um, but you, when you have this kind of six house synergy, to kind of what you want to do with yourself, your son, you know, you want to associate yourself with uh, wellness and daily routines. Another person too, I say they're not going to change, so they're going to have daily routines, and they're going to be based upon fact. Uh, uh, Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Venus. Um, you know, their tastes and things are going to be very modern. You know, come into lifestyle and stuff. They're going to be modern, very open minded, kind of modern in the way that they think. Um, there'll be a traditional side to them, too. My guess is like with this Knight of Cups here under the King of Wands, uh, and their, their parents had this kind of traditional male female Mars Venus relationship, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's not bad, it's just, it's the way it is. Um, now, while they're very open-minded and everything, and broad-minded, they, they do, in terms of relationship, they might be just a little bit more traditional, man or woman, you know? Like, for instance, they might want marriage. Like, you may, just by knowing them and their persona, the sun self, you get to know, you think, like, wow, it's probably somewhere, probably not, not big on marriage. But when it comes to them and their personal life, uh, they would be. Yeah, you take it very seriously. So one question I have with a person like this, you know, um, uh, it, how do you get, find them in a state of being single? Because, you know, um, they, they seem like someone that uh, when they mate, they're going to mate for life here. I uh, think about a lot. But uh, I have to say with your person, with this Mars and Scorpio here, they have had a lot of sexual <laughs> partners, okay? Sorry to laugh, but... Uh, you know, uh, if that, just so you know, I mean, it's the one that's right for you. I don't know. For me, it's like, uh, you know, hey, I don't care how you got your mad sex skills, but I'm just glad you got them and that, that you use them on me now. So, uh, but again, uh, that there's this mixture to them. It's like, they're not really promiscuous. It's, uh, um, I believe they, they, when they're, um, you know, in a relationship, this is with you, it's not going to be a problem here. Uh, this is someone who's gone inside too, done the personal work, you know, they may have actually gone to therapy at some point, it would almost inevitable, some type of inner work, formal inner work here, and also this person's like just a natural born salesperson here, um, you're going to find that in terms of the way they love, they, they, they like uh, a lot of freedom, and they give a lot of freedom, they like a lot, they demand a lot of respect, and they'll absolutely give complete respect uh, for you. Um, I make a joke of a Venus in Scorpio. It's like a, a Venus in, is so different, Venus in Aquarius, from the way we are. It's like, and it's really more, a lot uh, more mature, more unconditional love, you know, but it's a little detached to someone like a Venus in Scorpio, uh, where everything is so uh, personal. And so I think now that they have this Scorpio Mars, what you're going to find is this kind of dualistic nature to them. We're all this way in some manner. But when the door closes to the bedroom, this male-female dynamic comes out, and they're going to be hella sexual. Um, and, and that's just how it's going to roll. Um, and it's going to be a little bit different than this energy here. Uh, which is this kind of friendly energy, detached energy, less emotional energy, uh, and less personal energy, I guess is what it is. And whereas when it comes to sex and Mars, and the, there's not going to be any desire for, uh, uh, you know, threesomes and, and open relationships because it's going to be very possessive, this Mars, and I'm not necessarily saying that in a bad way, this is Scorpio, this is what it is, you know. Uh, they're not someone going to want to share with their, their toys with their friends when it comes to their sexual relations. There's going to be a secretiveness about their sexuality. They may have toys in their closet. Personally, I'd be like, yay. I mean, jackpot here, cancer. Um, and um, So it'd be the kind of thing where it could come as a surprise because they're just going to not seem like the person that has the kinky sex closet. And they surely are. <laughs> But no one will know it uh, unless you're uh, in there with the door closed, okay? So in terms of what they do, it's got sales uh, screaming all over it. Um, I would say that who they are is sort of what they do somehow. 
And the way they do it is in a very balanced way. Um, I think that they, this is that kind of Aquarian energy of the uh, caring about the whole, which kind of make the joke about the Venus. And it's like a, if God came down and said, well, Venus uh, in Aquarius, you know, your lover either has to die or all the little baby seals in the world got to die. And Venus would be like, oh my God, I can't, we don't want all the little baby seals in the world die. I, what am I going to do? You know, God asked that to Venus and Scorpio. He's just laughing at him saying, baby seals are toast, God. Why are you about to ask me? You can't kill my lover. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's kind of energy that they that they bring. And um, they just could be like really good with groups and uh, people find them just desirable. <clears throat> to follow and you know they're they're already lit up by this leo moon which could just kind of put a halo around you i think it's a great moon for anything to do with public speaking or something like that and i think that they whatever it is that they do they give people something real though it's not bullshit it's like something substantial you know um so their enthusiasm their energy that they give so freely out to people here it's kind of like a fiery way of expressing themselves. So and I do think like in their work, another little thing, they'll be more dynamic and outgoing and fiery and a little more subdued. You're going to see more depth in the hermit energy in the home, you know, on the IC with you, uh, around you, around the family type of energy. Um, so which is kind of good because it's pretty high octave. It'd be a lot to sustain 24-7. For even this person here, guys. So anyway, let me know what you think of this. Please give me a like if you do uh, like it. And uh, this is meant to be a predictive read. You're probably not someone you know, someone that's coming in in the January time frame. Give it a minute. Is this tarot? It's coming from the other side. Uh, maybe it's the beginning of February. But uh, and if you haven't, please do subscribe. Always Tuesdays, by the way, or Gemini Cancer Day here at Dave Sky Tarot. Thank you.